the central bankers right now manipulate the interest rates extremely low so that people take more risk because they they perceive that there's no risk in taking loans and making investments especially young people now like we're in the culture of stocks can only go up and millennial investors and and stonks, you know gen z <laughs> yeah the stonks only go up and that's because that's that's because of the of the central banks manipulating the markets and printing trillions and trillions of dollars and then keeping the interest rates really low which encourages and then doing some airdrops like we do get some airdrops into our bank accounts from the government and then people take that and they're like well the stocks go up for the rich people so let's also get some of those gains and the 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 central banks have created this atmosphere of extremely degenerate behavior from the top down and I think it's the first time in history that I can remember that like everybody's winning <laughs> and it's all fake. It's all fake value. <laughs> and it's like everybody knows it's fake value, but they know that they can't stop because if they stop the party, everything's going to blow up because we're so over leveraged and we're so far from the fundamental value. Like S and P 500 companies are trading at like 500 X P E ratios or whatever it is. That makes no fundamental sense. The, you know, the, uh, the funny stories from like Wall Street bets all from the last 18 months where, you know, Wal Warren Buffett's like selling all of his airline stocks and like Robinhood traders are buying them all from him, pumping the markets up. <laughs> Hertz goes bankrupt and like Wall Street bets buys up Hertz. And then, you know, like that's, that's not, that's, you don't see that kind of stuff in a rational market. So, I don't think that like the Bitcoin is gaining from this really, really well because Bitcoin is designed to be this exit ramp from this insane system where it's all manipulated. So Bitcoin kinds of is kind of linked to the dollar in that as long as the dollar is continually devalued and as long as they're printing more dollars and it's obvious that the value of the dollar is going down over time, then people will want to trade their dollars for more valuable monies that's the uh, gresham's law in an economy it's uh, bad money drives out good money so bitcoin in this situation would be the good money and uh, that doesn't go down in value over long periods of time where the dollar is now a bad money that is, everybody's kind of aware that this thing's going to drop your purchasing power over time so people would rather spend their dollars and save in the better money which is now taking a lot of that um, that Gresham's Law network effect or whatever is is Bitcoin and other things because there's a there's an education part here too like people people get there's something wrong with the dollar so they're they're trying to like put their their dollars into other things a lot of people that are uneducated do like buy AMC stock or buy a GameStop or or something like that they just don't fundamentally understand the value there they're just like it's it's the meme. And it's the energy and it's working. So they're just like trying to make some more of that money. But that that impulse to go into something else because of this really easy money gains, you know, easy gains that the Fed and the central banks around the world have created is it's like I, th I believe the people that do the work and they understand scarcity and value, they go into things like farmland, gold, Bitcoin. Um, I don't know what else, uh, but like people that people that are like, just like younger, maybe they're not versed on monetary history. Maybe they don't understand quite the value of what they're buying. They'll be buying things like Pokemon cards, sneakers, AMC stock. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's the same energy and, and the people that are getting the bailouts from the banks to getting the quantitative easing they're doing the same thing at the high level. Like they're getting money printed directly to them and they're doing things like um, public, like taking companies public, like they're investing in shitty tech companies and trying to take them public and dump it on retail. And they're, and they're buying shit mm -hmm. and like pumping, they're doing the same thing that the wall street bad people are doing in the billions of dollars instead of the thousands of dollars or the tens of thousands of dollars. So in that way, like everything is intrinsically linked to the dollar, but I think the dollar's losing its 
kind of like it, not losing its uh, reserve status, but it's it's definitely being challenged by other things, and its its reserve status is is weakening. I don't think Bitcoin's going to like overthrow the dollar or anything like that anytime soon, but I do think that Bitcoin is gaining from the dollar's continual devaluation. The same the same as gold, the same as real estate. Um, so there's like one part of it is fundamental value and i think things like i said gold bitcoin real estate that fundamental value is there and then there's like meme value or whatever like uh, fiat value which is driven by just fomo and network effects that don't have any fundamental um long-term value which is like collectibles and and meme stocks and stuff like that and crypto too like dogecoin and shiba coin and all these DeFi coins and all these different random coins. It's the same as the, it's the same energy as the stocks. It's just like, Oh, well, I guess prices are going to go up and stuff. So <laughs> I'm just going to put it, put my, put my dollars in anything. Doge to a hundred. That's, that's the D that's. The yeah. Dream. Yeah. No, um, I, I, <laughs> I mean, um, I'm not going to lie. I'm in for a little bit of the ride, uh, because why the fuck not? Um, <laughs> But uh, you're, you, there's a couple of things there. It's the energy, right? Like, it, it can only go up, right? So if you're not really doing the work on, like, f- trying to find what's the real truth here, what's the real, like, fundamental value and truth that will hold its value when this party ends, you will probably go into all kinds of different random stuff because it's, it's, it's going up. Mm. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the podcast. Don't forget our sponsor, ExpressVPN. And my book, Brexit, The Establishment Civil War, can both be found in the links in the description below. And also, please like, share and subscribe to this podcast. It's the best way to help us grow. Until next time, thanks for listening.